Let's go through another command called polysolid, and I'll move up here in this section of the modeling area. Polysolid can create exactly what you see here, a polyline that's only a solid, it's a solid, it has height and thickness and uh, width and so on. So if we go ahead and just select that, you're going to see some prompts on the screen. I've got this set a little higher. My height is 10, my width is 1. I want to key in W4, let's change the width from 1 to maybe, uh, let's, go, let's go to 3. All right, now I'm going to hit a start point, and as I move the cursor across the screen, you'll see me pull this shape out. It's going to create it on the fly. Let's make this, uh, let's make it 50 units like this. And we'll come over this way and come back towards the, on the, down the Y axis a little bit. And there it is. You see the, uh, the, o -tra the tracking mechanism. I'm going to key in 70 here. And now I'm going to go over here and just key in. As I move down here, I'm going to key in A for arc. It allows me to move the arc along like this. And there's, and we'll follow the, there's the, the track along the axis. And then I'm going to come down here and key in L for a line. And just pull that straight out this way and hit enter. Now, if you look and see, if I rotate this around, this is what I've gotten. I've got a polyline. Basically, it's in 3D. So we can take a look at that. Let me zoom in a little closer, give it some thickness. There's what it looks like. Now, again, I'm holding the shift key down and the, and the scroll wheel, doing a quick orbit. You can see I've got this uh, set up so I can see this. I want to change the, uh, the, the uh, shading here a little bit to conceptual. Give it a little more of a cartoonish look to it, but you can see. And that reveals some of the the aspect of the uh, of the model as it's created. But again, that's the uh, th that's the polysolid command right up here, and that will generate a 3D solid along that uh, path that you choose. So I'll just type in erase, erase command. And also, we're going to take these lines out. You can also uh, shrink the object around and put and it anywhere you want. Modified. Click the erase button. Take the line out and the line out here. And now I'm going to right click. Okay, see how easy Soft Tutor is?